equals uh, distance over time because you say uh, uh, you say uh, 70 miles a, uh, a hour it's a speed uh, so you say uh, an, amount, an amount of distance over an amount of time so if you want this which is your period it's the amount of time uh, by default you have 4 seconds for this magnitude so if you have, have a speed you have a distance and you want how many seconds for a, a whole period you will have to use switch this in the formula so time equals distance over speed that's the formula so uh, our enemy needs a speed parameter speed we'll set it to 100 and if you want the period to be correct it will be self dot magnitude self dot uh, cine dot magnitude times four that's your distance and that's the distance travel in one period and the speed in denominator so now you'll have constant speed but different magnitude the good thing uh, with that is you just have to uh, put your uh, your um, enemies where wherever you want and just set a magnitude the distance here to here it will be uh, maybe 150 and it will uh, go to the proper speed so you don't have to uh, put uh, uh, tons of uh, colliders and sometimes you m with uh, colliders you may end up with some setup I don't know maybe uh, like uh, this maybe you want your this enemy to go further here and this enemy to go further here and with colliders you can't achieve this uh, at least not like that <laughs> There's a, a more complex way to where you can achieve this kind of situation. It involves uh, containers, but we'll see containers a bit later. So yeah, for now you have those two uh, different uh, ways to uh, to handle uh, uh, enemies. Here you see that they can. Uh, have different magnitude and, uh, and uh, cross uh, each other so I that's uh, oh memory wise memory wise memory wise well uh, there's one who uh, involve collision collision is uh, always a slightly expensive uh, calculation but uh, uh, nothing you really need to consider I think think you don't uh, really need uh, they are both uh, equally uh, efficient I think if you have hundreds of enemy I don't really know which one will fail first and I'd say try it on your own <laughs> you know how to do loops now you know how to do back and forth enemies so just spawn a whole lot of enemies for instance you can spawn uh, uh, one 1000 enemies on a long uh, line put colliders on both sides and see uh, which which uh, see uh, how fast it goes and do the same without colliders with uh, sign behavior and see how much it goes I think that's a test you now are uh, good enough to uh, to handle yeah yeah, indeed, uh, Newt, you, are, uh, you have uh, a good uh, argument. There's uh, with the low FPS, what happens is uh, low FPS or high speed. You might be here on one frame and here on the other. So there's uh, with this solution, there's 
may be a case where you can um, miss a collision but uh, uh, if you really want the calculation it's like uh, uh, even at uh, 2 fps it's, uh, it should uh, work 2 fps uh, at one one uh, at 100 uh, of speed with 2 fps you will go uh, one frame you will go 50 pixel by frame at 2 fps so I think uh, it's uh, more than uh, this distance here to here so I think with 2 fps it will work but with 2 fps you don't have uh, a game <laughs> you just have a, I don't know a loading screen so yeah uh, it's uh, it can theoretically theoretically uh, happen but uh, you probably will never happen in your game unless you really have uh, either a shitty computer or a shitty uh, uh, handled game <laughs> performance wise uh, uh, should check the, oh it should it, okay anyway moving on now stomping I spend too much time on this what is stomping? stomping is like in Mario you jump and then you land on the head of your enemy and you it uh, which uh, makes you jump again and the enemy die so how do you handle stomping and at the same time we want to handle hurting when the enemy when you touch the enemy the enemy like that do you take damage when you touch it like that you kill it. So you have to tell the both things apart. Let's first handle hurting. So if you if you collide with an enemy, 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 collision, 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 with an enemy. Let's say by default you lose some uh, some HP. So I will uh, add to the player uh, HP parameter, set it to 100 by default, and always uh, display it on my debug text box. Let's make a group and put it at the end. No. Okay, and set the text box to always. Uh, player, player dot HP. In the second session. Ah. Uh, overlapping and uh, yeah, I strongly suggest uh, Anata to uh, to go see the how I, I handle coins uh, in the week two video. Um, because uh, you should see yeah you should see why uh, sometimes collision is better than overlapping sometimes it's exactly the same it's not a question of uh, performance it's a question of uh, how picking works so yeah here I have 100 HP so for now it's not decreasing and I want on collision to decrease my HP and player players subtract uh, let's say 10 from HP okay and I don't have colliders so I'm losing my enemy So yeah, here you have HP, you are hurt. But uh, we'll see how to do the knockback uh, later. So here, if you are in collision with the enemy, you are hurt. But now you want to be able to hurt them you yourself. To do this, you want to be able to tell the difference between colliding with them on a side and colliding 
colliding with them on the top. Um, so when you collide with the enemy, you want to check where the player is uh, according to the enemy. You, uh, you will have two, um, two situations. One situation you are hurt, one situation you kill the enemy. Kill, take damage. To tear the both, both situations apart, you will have to check if you are, if your player is over the enemy the moment of the collision. So to say that, to say I am, I am, not am, not angry. Uh, when you say, uh, to say I, I, I am uh, over the enemy, you say player Y is lower, since the Y coordinate is uh, uh, increased when you go to the button. So if you are over the enemy, you Y coordinate is lower than the enemy that Y coordinate minus the enemy since the origin is in the bottom minus the enemy the enemy's height and I think there's even um, uh, an expression that sum sum up this uh, thing with bounding box top. So if my player's y here, this coordinate, if it's lower than this position, which is exactly here, it's uh, 512. If this is lower than 512, lower or equal, we consider this. I destroy my enemy. So and else, I take damage. Do you think that will work? I don't know. Maybe that should work. It's uh, it's rather logical, and I already killed my enemy here. So let me jump on him. It doesn't work. What happens? Why can't I kill my enemy? I want to kill, kill, kill my enemy. Ah. And you've seen maybe that it works when I do this and I start my, the game. Beam, it works. So what happens? It didn't destroy it. That's uh, that's curious, isn't it? That's uh, that goes down to how uh, collision is handled. Collision is handled here you are in collision with the the, um, the enemy well I will change my words you are overlapping the enemy here if the edge is uh, the same as the the other one it's an overlap you are here overlapping the enemy here you are also overlapping the enemy here you are overlapping the enemy in both these uh, situations uh, you are overlapping the enemy here, here, here. It's all an overlap. A collision is an overlap, but just uh, the first time you overlap the, the enemy is considered a collision. Uh, when you have your hand on the wall, you're not colliding the wall. But when the moment, the moment you, you are touching the wall, you are colliding with the, with the wall. The difference between a collision event and an overlapping condition is the instantaneous aspect of it. So what happens? I'm colliding, but this doesn't work. Because the moment I'm falling on my enemies, I have a, a certain speed. I s so uh, at a given FPS, I'm here, then I'm here, then I'm here, then I'm here, then I'm here. And here I have a collision. Because that's the first time I'm overlapping the enemy. But my position 
is lower than the top of the enemy. So, 